Hi, welcome to another toy testing review. And today I'm with my son Nolan. And we're going to be look um in today we're going to be looking at the remote control X-Wing Starfighter. And this is brand new, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so we saw them at Walmart they're about uh $80. And uh so we'll take it out of the box, have a look at it, and uh later on uh, we'll go out and uh see how it flies. Right? Okay. So it comes with the X Wing fighter. And four laser cannons for the wings. And the remote the remote control. So the remote control is kinda nice looking, it says Star Wars on it. And uh, you have the throttle to uh, increase, decrease the ducted fans and of course left and right which just simply decreases or increases the speed on one or the other of the fans thus making a turn. So to charge it first of all uh, you'll need to put six AA batteries under the uh, cover. Of course there's screws on here to make sure that the batteries don't fall out. And uh, on the front is where the charging port is. Open that up. And these are pretty standard now. The last few I've bought uh, of the uh, Air Hogs had this very similar charger. So you take that out and connect it to the bottom of the X Wing fighter. Like so. Make sure that the switch is in, in the O position for off. And then simply press the green button and uh, wait for it to charge up. Now once you plug in the uh, controller to the X-Wing aircraft, uh, you'll get a red flashing light until you push the charge button. So next we just put the laser cannons on. So there's so f one for each wing. So we have completed the X-Wing fighter. It looks really cool. And let's turn it on. Now I'm going to turn on the green button to test it. Now see if it works. Okay, all engines are working, so let's take it for a test flight. Okay, so we brought the X-Wing out to the park here, and uh, we're going to give it a try. So we'll switch it on. Switch it on the controller, make sure the engine's working. Okay, so now all I have to do is give it a toss and uh, see what happens. There's no up and down, so it's kind of hard to control. It's just simply uh, throttling up and uh, turning. So there's no actual uh, way to control the up and down movement. So we'll try it again. Okay, so I've been trying it so far without the uh, laser cannons. You might need those on to provide some weight on the tail, and that might make it. Uh, Fly better. Mommy. Mommy. Being for battle this time, get the laser cannons on. And we'll give it another shot. Maybe this way. In the wind.
Having fun? Yeah? Dad. Dad. Alright, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're ready to go here. Alright. Okay, so our other test flights weren't very good. Uh, what we did is uh, we took the El Cheapo batteries out of the remote, put in some fresh Duracells, and uh, thought that uh, maybe that was the problem. Now, when I put in the batteries, the controller started working better. The lights indicating uh, charging uh, were actually working where they weren't before. So uh, hopefully uh, it's given it enough power. I'm gonna start without the laser cannons on it and, uh, and see how that works. And if it works all right, or Whichever way it works, we'll uh, then put the laser cannons on. Oh, sick! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> it always is so slow motion. Kesha? Yeah, we're going to start on a hill Ready, here and start, see if we have start, better luck. Start, stop, stop. Okay, go. Nice one. It's okay, keep going. Whoa! That's totally fun! Well. Well, that must be better. Oh, that was good. Okay, so we're back from the park now, and uh, we did get the aircraft to fly a little better with the um, putting in brand new Duracell batteries. Highly recommend that. So the cheap batteries, you want to use the best batteries you can possibly get, Duracell, Energizer. But that being said, um, you know, the controls are pretty limited with this aircraft. I mean, there is actually no uh, elevators, uh, rudder, stuff like that. Just simply moving the control back and forth, uh, which is increasing or decreasing uh, the engines. I think that Air Hogs should have put in either, well, more powerful engines of the two, or put in four engines. But either way, they needed to put in more power of this aircraft and have um, a better system of, of control, um, albeit if you had put four engines, if they had put four engines in the aircraft, uh, that might have done it. That might have been all you needed. Or just some kind of some kind of a, uh, a rudder or aileron system, but you know, uh, 80 bucks. I guess they could only do so much uh, with, at that price point. So I give it a two out of five just because it does look pretty cool. You could hang it up, but who wants to pay 80 bucks for something that's uh, made of styrofoam just to hang up in your room? Not me. Probably take it back to the store. Uh, what is what is your uh, thoughts on it, Norm? Half a star. Half a star. Okay. And uh, what did you think about its overall performance? Uh. <coughs> I like how it, like I like how it goes any direction, but the problem with that is like it like it can like bang into something or and like you can't even turn it like it's like yeah. when you turn it they they just go crashing down to the ground. Yeah, yeah. So. And because of that we, well we got stuck in a tree once and uh, took a while to get it out. But uh, so hope you enjoyed this uh, review and. Uh, Tune into more of our videos. We have a variety of videos, uh, not just unboxing videos, but a lot of family videos. Uh, so I hope you enjoy them. See you next time.